This is my 85 SE, and it had the recirculating ball steering, which of course had horrible wonder steer, even after I replaced everything on it and adjusted it, it just wasn't working. So I am going to go rack and pinion. Could not find a conversion kit that was going to be in my budget, which definitely isn't $3,000 plus dollars. So we have begun to fabricate our own. Um, took out the old steering linkage and then on the inside of where the old steering was located, used quarter inch steel plate, drilled the holes to match the bolt pattern. So we'll use the exact same bolt pattern and just fit right up in there. We got the same thing on the other side. I am going to trim the uh, overhang there because these are just five inch by five inch. Got these off of Amazon for like 10 bucks for four of them. You could probably source them even cheaper at the local steel shop. I do have this oil return line that goes, um, I had to get an extension for it because it was really close. And when I put the U joint up in here for the shaft, it was going to run right into the middle of this. So I did have to put that extension in to move this over about an inch and a half. This is the rack, it's a Helix. This is for a Pinto. I will double check the one that I got. It is three and a half turns lock to lock, matches the GSLSC exactly. This uses the Mustang 2 tie rod ends. I have the normal size and then I have the longer size for the passenger side because once this is shifted in place this has to reach a little bit further and this one I'm actually contemplating cutting a few threads off and then putting it on because I think I have to have a little bit more room to tighten it uh, now you could probably get this cheaper this half of helix was $250 um, Summit Racing is where I got it. And then you've just got the spline to three-quarter inch DD on the joint. Got the DD here. Double D, three-quarter inch, which will then go into the driving shaft, which I will um, show you how I'll do that a little bit later. And I got two more of those quarter-inch plates, which were drilled to match the rack. And this is one inch square with one eighth inch wall, which we'll use to mount it. So it begins. I should have everything welded up here by tonight.